right, now that you've discussed it, now that we've talked about it, now that we've seen a video, now let's write. And depending on my class level, it might just be something short, like five sentences here. It might be something longer. I do like to show some exemplars, right? And so I do like to kind of, you know, here's a, a simple one, here's like a writing frame. And then I might show them, okay, this is a little bit more advanced. Let's take a look at, you know, how do we cite sources? That might be something I do with my, you know, more advanced classes or, or my groups, right? So depending, but I do like to show some samples. Um, how would you end here, Jenny? Yeah, so I like the idea of the, the sentence frames because um, that'll give the kids confidence. Sometimes they have some ideas about what they want to say, but they're just, you know, lacking maybe the confidence to, to start. And so giving them, you know, a couple of words, this is how it start the sentence, um, kind of get their ideas going. And I know that it says write a five paragraph sentence, but, you know, everybody is at different levels. And so I might say, you know, you're going to be writing just one sentence, one really, you know, good, complete sentence in English for my beginners, uh -huh. that's a win. So I just need to have maybe different expectations, um, different, uh, to meet the different levels of proficiency at where they are. Um, and just like you can use the Jamboard multiple times, kind of, you know, show it at the beginning, do something again at the middle, do something again at the end, you can see their progress. You can do the same thing with the writing. So maybe the first time that they're encountering this, they're only writing one sentence, but guess what? Maybe next time they can write three sentences. Maybe the following time they can write five sentences. Um, so just, you know, continuing to, to meet their, meet them where they are. Yes. Okay, and so, and with that, you know, again, there's a lot of enrichment activities that you can do with your students. They can continue to research. There's a great information out there about, you know, artificial intelligence. This might take about, you know, a, a couple of days if you really go through and do a lot of that scaffolding. Uh, what we're trying to show here is, you know, sometimes we get questions, of how do I integrate ELD standards into my lessons? And that's really our, our goal is, how do you take something that you already do and just start thinking about, okay, what online tools now, you know, that many of us taught distance learning, we picked up new tools, how can we still use those uh, today in the classroom? And knowing that our students have so many different needs uh, from ours, you know, students with special needs, our, our shy students, our students who are, are not as verbal sometimes, um, how do we get them to communicate in different ways? And then of course our English learners uh, and all the different levels of our English learners. So again, uh, just trying to give, different ideas. Like I said, we're not experts where you welcome other questions and comments. And if you have other ideas, we'd love to, you know, gather some more and we can maybe share them. So we'll be doing a few more of these. <music>